you know, reconsider what we're thinking about. Keep your eye on Flashy on the right light side. Him? He's got more goals than his teammates Him? combined. Look at that. It Yes, it's prophetic as he scores early on. Okay, I was keeping my eye on him, and I'm glad I did because I got to see a goal, Stax. Thanks for pointing it out. Five seconds into the match. Flashy with the unflashy goal there, but whatever gets the job done, especially here in the majors. 13th goal of the day leads all players on the field right now as Brad will try to give a quick answer for No Mercy Esports. There is Repi, the World Championship veteran. He's got a full tank of boost on his way back and they may need him. Or no, everybody's just going to stay back on the right light side. So now Brad has drops. Repi coming up as well. Shot is going to be wide. Follow up is blocked away as well by Jan. That was a great save there. And Reppy, look at the beautiful pass, the shot. But Flashy yep. was waiting. He's seen that one one too many times as Jarvie's going to bomb this one downfield, looking for the clear. And so far, the defense has been impressive from right light. It has. They've done enough to fend off a couple really good looks from No Mercy. Jan, back forward, easily sent away by Brad. Got to be Twitch Chat's best friend on the No Mercy side. Drops, rotating <laughs> out, and he'll be back at the net as this ball comes downfield. Brad brought one in front and then paid the price as he got blown up. And, boy, he almost gave Right Light a sitter right on the goal line. Reppy trying to get around traffic. Brad lobbing one up there. Drops is waiting and had to stop Flashy from a breakaway. Well, that's a dangerous clear there. Reppy there for the steal. Puts it on target. Flashy wasn't quite expecting the changeup to roll through on target. Yeah, hey, you know what? Sometimes you just have to be in the right place at the right time. You make a challenge. You happen to have the ball between you and the net. It happens to go in. Works out for no mercy. Now they could get an opportunity off the kickoff, but nobody was charging forward. Brad was waiting across the way. The ball managed to go right to him. Reppy. Again, just try to play table setter. Props will have that one deflected all the oh. way across. You know, I, I would, I want to see what either of these teams do if they manage to get into the playoffs for next week. Because again, there's there's such a dynamic for for either one of them. You've got on the right light side a lot of uncertainty about their future, but with no mercy, you know, they're a team that. You've got a player like Reppy on your side. You've always got a chance. He'll get officially an assist as Brad gives them the lead. Just a great challenge there from Reppy. 50-50 all the way up near the ceiling, and it just drops straight down. And B-Rad was there for the finish for No Mercy. Drops will give chase here, but Brad calls him off. He's got Reppy to his left, but that's going to ricochet all the way back out across midfield. And there is Flashy. This is the guy that Red Light wants on the ball, but drops goes over. Everybody add into an open net. Caught you slipping, cheating up a little too far, and drops puts it over the defense's head. Saw a wide open target. You gotta play a little more spaced out on offense than that if you're on right light. Drops has this go right by him, but there's no rush to get out of the zone. They're not under a ton of pressure off the opening or off the restart here. Reppy will win this challenge, but not that one. As Jarvis has played that right back into the zone, Reppy is there and he'll calmly take this. And there's that experience of Reppy, not just booming the ball downfield, not in a panic, not rushing anything. On his way back, easy stop there by Brad. Watches everybody go by, and Reppy doesn't get too aggressive. He gets a piece of Jan on the way back. Slowing things down enough for his teammates to get back in position, and that's a great job defensively by No Mercy collectively to get back. You know, I, I know a lot of times casters like to bring up what cars players choose, the, the colors, the boosts, <laughs> the et cetera, et cetera, but let's get back to that after this goal because Flashy just put in his second of the game and cut the lead down to one. Yeah, that's a great setup by Jan, too. He narrowly misses on the shot, but nobody could get to the rebound. Flashy 
Right place, right time. It has worked out a lot for Right Light to get them into this position. That, by the way, his 14th goal on the day. So back to what I was saying, you know, casters will bring up cars and basically things that don't have a huge impact on the game. Car choice, it has an impact, but it's nothing massive. But one thing that does is the choice of what you're playing on. And I'm looking at Jan, and is he on PlayStation? We are, yeah, a little side I mean, that, action over that here. That okay. right there is huge. That's something that we definitely have to talk about more in length because while there is not a huge disadvantage, there is a disadvantage, in my opinion, to playing on a console. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> and so the fact that he's playing at this level, all right for him. that is incredible. Yeah. Let's get this boy a PC and let's see him pop off. Right, hey, you know what? You get into the uh, the playoffs, you get a little extra money. Maybe make a deep run in the playoffs. <laughs> You're buying a PC. This goes to the corner for I mean, Peppy. If he makes it to the playoffs, he oh. can buy himself a Tesla to play the game on. You know, I don't think that would work. You know what? It is 20, who knows? The way technology works these days, far oh beyond me. Oh, it's Jarvis. Oh. Jarvis dancing through the air, but nothing doing is that one just cut off just above the goal, down to 10 seconds. They gotta get back on possession. But first they have to make the stop, and that's a good one by Jan. But now with five seconds left, Drops looking to put it away, and he will do just that. No mercy, holds on. They stop Flashy and friends to take game yeah, one. Flashy and friends, because Flashy, two goals, and his friends each getting an assist there. And I'd love to see either one of them step up on offense, get a goal for themselves, but at the end of the day, I'm happy with what we saw from right light here. They kept it within one goal in game number one, and they didn't look outmatched. Sure, the shots, big difference there. Four over to ten. But from what we saw last series, that doesn't matter in game one. Right light could very well just be revving up their engines at this point. We will get right into our second game over on Forbidden Temple, and... I, I want to see if anybody else, you know, I want to see Sharvis. I want to see Yanami. I mean, Sharvis has only scored two goals all day. Got to see him get involved. If Right Light is going to have a chance at taking down No Mercy, they are very much punching upward. Yes, if you get to this stage, you're two and two, you're there for a reason. But this on paper looks like as much of a mismatch as you can have at this stage. We'll see if Right Light has anything to say about it. Reppy lobbing one in. Flashy does make the stop. Now drops, so quick pass out to Brad. His little bouncing shot is saved by who else but Flashy. And he's lucky that Flashy was there because Jan got bumped out. I believe it was Reppy that bumped him. It, it, it doesn't matter who bumped him, but he did get bumped in clutch defense there as a backup defender as here comes Flashy. Using a lot of boost just to get this ball into the blue half and doesn't look like it was worth it as he is completely out of position, but Sharvis there for a clutch hit to keep that ball in the blue half. But Reppy immediately transitioning from defense to offense is no mercy. Gonna try their hand at putting some shots on target. Char with a good win there on the side, but ran out of boost. Did get the midfield boost and may needed to make a stop here. No flash, he got in the way. As Drops was coming on. Little miscommunication though defensively. He's going to put Jan and Flashy in a tough spot. Jan does make another stop to get this downfield as does Sharvis. But it's right there for Drops. He's got Reppy to his right. Oh! Going to take the shot of the foot reset. It is loose and Reppy will score. Oh, the double commit comes out and rears its ugly head. Flashy had it. Sharvis just comes and gives him a little tap on the backside. Hits him out of the way and No Mercy capitalizes. No Mercy, they got a win in the first round against Flow Nocturnes Gaming because Nocturnes had a player that had university responsibilities, whatever exactly that entails. So they couldn't play the first round, they had to forfeit. They're playing over on the Slash Rocket League stream right now and they just dominated game one against the atypical squad that beat 11. And if you are wondering what the significance of all that is, it just shows this region is a lot deeper than anybody thinks. 
because 11s was considered to be the top dogs. Atypical beat them. Nocturnes, a round five team, is putting the boots to Atypical right now. And how it all ties in here, no mercy. Boy, imagine if they had to play Nocturnes in the first round. They might be in even more dire straits at this yeah, point. Yeah, I can tell you one thing. When we're lucky enough to go back and have a land and South America shows up, they're going to do exactly that. They're going to show up. And North America and Europe can't sleep on them. And Jan, you can't sleep on him as well, getting his first goal of the series and sneaks it right under the defense. Yeah, a lot of rebound opportunities finding their way into the net for right light. Or finding their way even close to the net. No mercy, getting a little sloppy defensively. You, know, you talk about South America playing on land. There wasn't much of a drop off when you go back and look at season seven. Reppy's uh, INTZ team, they outplayed NRG for a good two thirds of a series before NRG came back and won games four and five. That was in the group stage. Drops will throw one back into the zone here. Flashy's got this, but Drops is going to stay with it. Brad looking to set up Drops or Refi. So a lot for Drops, and Jan is right there to slam the door shut. But they don't clear the zone as, again, the pressure stays on from No Mercy, showing exactly No Mercy. Oh, triple commit on defense. And Right Light really needs to work on communication right now. That's a few times now where multiple people have gone for the same ball. Refi gets that one up. Sharv is able to get a bicycle hit on that and clear this all the way down the pitch with the help of Jan. As the offense starting to ramp up for right light, only one shot in this game, but they made sure that it's counted. Flashy with a good win in midfield, and there's Flashy gets Reppy on selfless oh. play, and the shot from Jan is saved by Reppy. That is spectacular defending. Now can it bring them downfield? Jan got a piece of this. It's going to be awkward for Flashy. But he did at least get a touch, and now Jarvis looking to set up Jans. He oh. just can't catch up, but Jarvis can still stay with the play, as can Flashy. No, he's going to back off, and wisely so, as Reppy was on oh. that ball. Jan was trying to stretch so hard to get that, but just out of his reach, and Jan just going to boot this one downfield. They have numbers. It's a 3v1 as they sit right now, but this is going to be a not the greatest touch from Jan as he wraps it left to right. And Flashy just tries to get that one centered up, and they keep it alive. Ball on target, but Reppy there for the save as we just near 30 seconds left here in game two. All still tied up, and right light misses a wonderful opportunity there. Uh, that's one they're going to want back, unless they can, of course, come out with a W here in game two. That's just high oh. in the park. Refi's follow, what a save by Flashy! And now they get numbers the other way. Jan, tough angle, his shot is saved by Brad. I don't know how he made that save, Stax. No clue in my mind how he got that touch. He was getting bumped, he was getting battered, he was getting bruised, but here we go. Jan, up in the air, looking to seal the deal, end this game right here, right now. Flashy's up, Flashy shoots, but drops with the clutch save to send us into overtime. Why not? We'll just keep playing overtime here as we go deeper and deeper into the tournament. Our only matchup here in round five. Starts us off with a game two. OD. What? It's a very short look. Oh, it's going to be saved by Jan. I thought for sure it was over. Wow. They're not out of this nope. though. Oh, that pass though off the mark, and that is huge for right light. Still not done. They've got to really get this ball out of the zone. They need boost. And more importantly, they just need to reset themselves. Everybody is just swinging at this ball now. Brad is right there for Reppy. He's throwing that one well off the mark. Follow up from drops. That is off as well. So Flashy will control. Flashy may have to do all the work himself. Brad makes the stop here. Jarvis on his way back. So Jan can come up and does so. Drops, big booming clear. It is true. All the way downfield, and Flashy had it read the whole way. Trying to get past Reppy. He does. Drops as a full tank of boost. He's going to need it. Can Sharvis recover? No, but Jan certainly can get onto this. Got it out, but Drops is right there. Brad to play further. Oh, that's a good win by Brad at midfield. He read that coming through. Flashy waiting on the backboard. Now it's Jan's shot. Easily set away. 
back and forth they go. It's a track meet early in OT. <laughs> it's a marathon match. I mean, they're not running the 100 meter dash. They're just nonstop running the mile as Brad baits one out. Can't get it over him as Flashy pre-jumped that and the ball was just flung right into his face and Flashy looking to push this throughout the corner. Gets the boost steal, elects to rotate back and that might be the best decision because the offense is starting to build up for no mercy and Jarvis gets the clutch pass down to Jan. And Jan can stay with this too. He got downfield in a hurry and he had to put a lot of effort into it. Brad trying to get over towards drops. He does so, but that's well read by Jarvis. Through the ceiling, trying to team up with Jans. Second touch, no, Jarvis' shot is blocked and popped up, and drops can get it out of harm's way. Well, it's a big defensive stand for No Mercy. Looking to turn it into offense, and Jans says absolutely the ceiling. not. Oh, it doesn't matter, nowhere near that ball. It was good on him to flip upside down, make sure his wheels touch the ceiling so he gets his flip back, but Brad puts this near the net, and Jan, another clutch save, another clutch clutch clear rather from flashy here but drops just keeps booming this ball back making right light stay honest on defense had a couple targets for a demolition hit neither on his way through now drops blocked by Jans can he get another touch oh drops does good job staying with the play Jarvis was looking for that corner boost and it did not spawn for him drops his shot on flashy right at him and saved again and we go now into a fourth minute of OT. Jarvis. Oh, that drops right to Flashy, but he's there. Nobody was charging the net. Oh, no. Team's got to settle down just a little bit. This is dangerous. Reppy's waiting. Does Brad use him? Yes, he does, but he took too long. And Flashy comes back to the rescue. Uh -oh. Now Jan oh, he missed. intercepted by drops, and that's wide. Oh, that was an opportunity for no mercy to put this one away. Instead, we remain tied. And right now, Right Light has 11 saves on the scoreboard. And it's looking like they're gonna need a clutch one there, but Flashy cuts out the passing lane, gets a save on that ball for number 12 in this game. They have just been a defensive wall on the orange half as drops, booms this one back. They don't want nothing of Right Light's offense. A kid saves legitimately. Brad, his shot goes over top. And just like that, no mercy. Right before the four minute mark, it's an innocent win at midfield from drops. And Brad finally ends it. And that's got to be heartbreaking for right now. Well, light. it was just a classic case of a team getting a little too anxious in overtime and thinking that, hey, we're getting beat right now. We got to push forward. We got to score right now when. Overtime can last until tomorrow. It doesn't matter. You've got to be able to keep your calm, keep your cool. Right light just kept pushing further and further downfield when they were on offense. We saw him get caught out in game one, and it reared its ugly head here in game number two. 21 shots from no mercy. <laughs> My goodness. Like, I know they played an extra almost four minutes. That's absurd. That compared to the six from and, and that's a two that's one a two game. One game. I mean, I pointed out. I don't know what it ended with as far as saves for right light. I'm gonna. It was twelve. 12. Okay, yeah. That's. I mean, yeah. they're turning away half of the shots that were good shots from No Mercy. That is insane. That is very close. Uh, maybe not so much. Never mind. That was like a strong number. I was just saying, that was starting to approach record territory. The record's got to be, th 31. yeah, I was going to say in the 30s. Well, the record's 31, but that's that's that one game where, where a player farmed safe. So when you look at maybe a legitimate record, still 30 from the Pittsburgh Knights against Rogue. Is this the start us downfield in game number three? Brad hanging around oh. the backboard, missed that. And Flashy was there. Sharvis was there. Now Jans. Try to play around and drops is right there to get this out of trouble. Flashy shot is well high, and finally, no mercy can leave the, the zone. Touch. Nobody on the defense expecting that one. And Brad, in a rotate out, has nothing left in the tank. Drops is all alone, but it actually works out well as Reppy was just at midfield, able to go up way early and look at a beautiful drop down pass. Drops is still up, trying to get the touch, can't quite get there, and Flashy puts it into his own corner. But just look at right light right now. 
They're so bunched up on defense. I want to see them spread out, and I think it'll truly help out with them clearing the ball downfield. You also wonder if No Mercy can just kind of break their spirits, right? I mean, we've heard all the talk about where they're at as a team after all of this, as Brad will make a save here. They're still keeping the pressure on, but at some point, right? I mean, the doubt's got to creep in. You're down 0-2 with your tournament life on the line. Could be the last time they play together as Reppy drops one down, looking for drops, didn't hit him. Now here goes Jan. Console extraordinaire. Jarvis oh, come on, Stax. Not keep that you alive. missed a perfect opportunity. Console connoisseur. Come on, brother. Ah. Well played. Good point. I'll leave that stuff to All you. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, I think uh, we just need to will another reverse sweep here. Or at least another game five. <laughs> well, hey, No Mercy is letting uh, letting Right Light hang around here. They haven't got that early strike to try and impose their will as Jan got bumped right over towards the ball. This goes back into the No Mercy end. Not a lot of boost for Right Light to work with as a team, but Flashy in position to at least pester Brad, and Jan gets stuffed by drops and Brad. And a chance back the other way. Tough angle, does not convert. And then Brad kind of helps us on its way downfield, and Reppy there to stabilize things for No Mercy and pick up and a demo. And he stole the boost in that back corner. Doesn't matter, though. Flashy spawned on the opposite side. Drops looking for the drop down pass as Brad, again, another boost steal. And Bright, right Light, rather, is just starved on the defensive half. They can't do anything to get this ball out. No Mercy suffocating them with their brilliant offense. Oh, that's a big clear downfield by Yanni. He picked up the midfield boost. That'll set up Sharvis, and the shot is blocked. Just couldn't get a good look at it as he was there second. Flashy denied by Brad. But Jan is up there in a hurry yet again. Plays around Reppy. Brad looking for drop. He's going to hit him, but the shot's going to be high. Follow up, no. And Flashy can throw this back downfield. And that's going to send No Mercy scrambling a little bit. And that demolition by Brad on Flashy. Perfectly timed and really tactically sound because Flashy's the guy you've got to take off the field. He is the vast majority of Right Light's offense. Yeah, and it's just incredible that this game is still tied up. I don't know how Right Light stays around so long in these games. It is just... A sight to behold, and Sharvis can't get that. It's an open net. Brad just has to get it down, and he can't. And Flashy respawns. He's back on defense, and this is going to be numbers for right light, but they're getting the ball stolen away so easily. Everything they're doing, they're kind of just showing their hand before they throw it out on the field. Jan corner for Flashy again, but Reppy read it all the way, and I really think that this No Mercy team, they're just keying in on Flashy. Make sure the ball doesn't get to him. Make somebody else beat them. Jan almost did, but Brad will clear it away. Now Jarvis for Flashy. Nobody's out to beat him this time. No, he went up to the ceiling, but Brad did finally come out from the back wall. Oh, no. Oh, one, oh there Jarvis it is. This is awkward. Demolition. Reppy goes right between the eyes. Oh, you got to hit this ball in the corner. A simple mistake. Leaves the net wide open due to the beautiful demo from Brad. And 30 seconds remain. As we are going to go ahead and pause the game as Drops lost connection here. We're going to wait on him to get back in. But no mercy. And off our stream matches. We re-kick things off here. Jarvis is not moving. And so Jan will just... Have to dribble, and I wonder what exactly is going on. I think we're going to have another restart. The players just weren't all there. So hey, they're like you. We will come back. I do. <laughs> no <kidding. laughs> oh. <laughs> I, hey, to, to the credit of our admin, he, he checked did. with the players. Both teams said we're ready to go, and nobody checked with Sharvis, apparently, who was just like, man, I'm just chilling. It's all good. Well, we get Probably 30 alt tabbed, you know, looking. We'll get 30 seconds back on the clock, and we're going to see a, a wonderful all the way up the field play from right light. They're going to tie the ball game, and they're going to bring us to a game number five. And whoever wins at that point, I don't care. I just want to see a game five. 
you're right. It would be great to uh, be great to close it out with uh, with one more classic series before we sign off here. Looks like they're gonna put twenty on the clock, as that's probably when everybody realized Sharvis wasn't there, and so, well, you know what? That little lack of communication. It cost him 10 seconds. We'll see what happens. A new fresh kickoff, and oh boy. I mean, they were nowhere close to scoring on the first one, and Refi has to make the stop there. 13 seconds as this is cleared downfield. Jan will keep them alive. Sharvis to play this downfield. Jan can't get up for that ball, though. And now with three seconds left, they've got to go the length of the field without letting the ball touch down, and that will finally do it. No Mercy Esports had a wild ride through the Swiss stage, but they stay alive to play next week. Yeah, I'm excited to see this team play as well. Anytime a team can put up 20 plus shots. Yeah, I want more of that for sure. And so No Mercy will indeed do just that. And, you know, credit to, to Right Light. I mean, they came in giving up over 10 shots a game and they were at least able to Keep No Mercy in check. They didn't get a ton of great opportunities themselves, but they were oh so close. And you could tell, I mean, again, every goal or every game yeah. was just decided by a single goal. They were just that close, but close doesn't the always same cut horseshoes, it. No Mercy. The same horseshoes, No Mercy. The same horseshoes. You're right. This is not horseshoes. Rocket League, baby. No Mercy. No Mercy clutched up when they needed to. They got the results that mattered, and they go on to the top eight playoffs well yeah, done well them. done and way to show up in crunch time when your tournament life is on the line and you never know what happens in the off season hey keep it going at least one more weekend and now they've got a ton of, of film they can watch and kind of figure out what, what they need to uh, work on and the areas that they're strongest in we are getting reminders for all the doofuses that are about to join us to unmute in their respective programs. They are good and ready to go. So that is it for us. No Mercy goes to the playoffs. We send you back to FDOT and the boys. So long.